All right, cool beans. So looking back um, at the pre-week analysis, I told you guys that I was anticipating DSY pulling back down into last week's weekly uh, discount of raise, right? Because I am a uh, weekly and daily um, premium and discount array trader. Um, that's how I uh, look at the markets, and that's basically how I execute my trades from week to week and day to day. So um, I mistakenly call this a implied fair value gap on the pre-week analysis, um, but this should be referred to as a volume imbalance. So please forgive me for that. So I told you guys I wanted to first see if price could break below this um, volume imbalance. And it did pull down and break below that volume imbalance today. And as you can see for um, Asian, for the Asian session, we've opened up with uh, a gap to the downside. So that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see us start out bearish and, and we got that move. So now I am anticipating for um now I am anticipating for price to pull back down to um that weekly discount rate level. First um running that 62% level and then um depending on how price reacts to that level, whether we break below it and close below it, then I will be anticipating price to drop down to the 79% is kind of right level. So um, with that being said, I want to jump straight into um, ES and uh, show you guys what I was looking at for the AM session this morning. So when looking back at the pre-week analysis, I told you guys that I wanted to see how price opened up for the week. Um, in respect to the weekly discount of raise. I wanted to see was price willing to break below those levels, run run back and retest those levels and break below those levels, or whether price continued to run up, right? And I told you guys in the pre-week analysis that I wanted to first I um that my bias for um futures this week was to start out with was bullish, right? And I first wanted to see if we could run Friday's buy side liquidity. That's what this blue uh, horizontal line is here. Um, so if I take you down to the daily, you'll see that that is Friday's buy side liquidity. And um, I told you guys, I wanted to see how price reacted to that level whether we broke above it aggressively and closed above it or whether we rejected it and uh, started selling off of it, right? So in order to see that, we have to go down to a lower time frame, take you down to an hour. Uh, we broke above that buy side liquidity um, pre-market hours this morning, eight o'clock, right? Is that an aggressive break above, right? Um, I would say that that's an aggressive break above. We left a nice fair value gap right there, right? And um, we closed above it as well. That was one of the things that I wanted to see that I'm paying attention to, right? Because it's literally um, price action leaving footprints. And so once I see that, I'm expecting us to run up into the daily PD array from last week's price action, right? And that's what these two levels are right here. Uh, 44.75 and uh, 44.63, right? And um, we ran up into there, right? And look how price reacted to those levels, to that level, for to that first 62% PD array level, right? We ran up into it. Um, we didn't close above it. We didn't break above it aggressively. Um, we respected it, right? And so with me, my model, as you guys may know or see me uh, post on um, Twitter is 
the uh, 2022 model, and I'm also a silver bullet uh, model trader, right? Whichever one I see, those are uh, two models that I like. Um, I'm also a MMSM, MMSM model trader, but uh, for the last six months or so, I've really been loving the 22 model and um, the silver bullet. So what I was looking for this morning was um, to get ready to execute my trades, right? Being that I'm a, I'm a rule based trader, I only trade during certain times, right? So my trading time is from ten to eleven during silver bullet times and two to three a.m. Right? Whichever one I'm gonna trade for the day, either the a.m. silver bullet or the p.m. silver bullet. Um, and so this morning when uh, markets open, I want to take you to my other chart. This morning when markets open at 9.30, right, we see that 62% of that daily PD, PD array ran right there at uh, 9.33, right? And we see price immediately run away from that PD array level. We came up, we set a high, right? And then we ran away to run uh, short-term sell side liquidity here, right? And then we seen price come right back up to that high that we had just set um, at market open, right? So usually every morning, right, I'm looking at the high of the New York opening range and the low of the New York opening range. And that is um, the first 30 minutes, right, of um, the market opening. So from 9.30 to 10 o'clock is what I'm paying attention to. I want to see the high made between that time and the low made between that time. And so um, when we seen that high set this morning in the low set this morning. We seen price run right back up to the high, right? Now, I'm looking to see how price reacts once we come back up to that uh, 62 PD array and um, that high, right? So we immediately run away from that high, right? Breaking low. And I'm noticing that we're seeing displacement in price action to the downside. Right. And so this is exactly what I want to see. I want to see willingness for price to run lower. To come back down. To this sell side liquidity and this sell side liquidity. Right. Running right into the imbalance that was created when we ran Friday's high. Right, because this level that we're looking at right here, this yellow horizontal line, that's Friday's high, 44.29, right? And when we broke that, we broke it aggressively, leaving a fair value gap, coming up into the 62 daily PD array, right? We ran away from it to run this short time, this short term liquidity here and ran right back up to uh that high now we're in my um rule based trading time we're within the silver bullet time range from 10 to 11 right so once i see this displacement in price this is what i'm looking at for me this displacement right here was enough because I've already seen us run up into that PD array and run away from it. 
right? And then we're coming back up to it a second time now, and now we're we're breaking below it aggressively here at 1036, right? So for me, that was enough to enter um, here, right? And um, bring that down to run this sell side liquidity, right? Well, overall target of it coming down into this uh, BC here, this buy side and balance sell side inefficiency. Um, that was created when we broke Friday's uh, high. So within that silver bullet time range, you can see that power of three, right? For all the power of three traders out there, we can see the accumulation occurring between 10 and uh, 10, 15, right? We see the manipulation coming back up to retest that, uh, buy side liquidity that we had just set at the opening, right? And then we see the distribution to run the sell side liquidity here and here and run us down into that busy that was created when we broke Friday's high. And so, That was my executions this morning, right? I got out here after we rent this sell side liquidity, right? Because I didn't want to be greedy. So, um, but this was obviously um, the target for um, for the overall play. Um, and down to this busy in the final TP. Had, had I held this trade all the way down to the final TP. So <clears throat> that's my mindset when I'm taking a trade every morning, every day. Um, I'm only trading during a, a specific time, right? Rule-based trading, following those rules. I'm waiting for certain levels to be rent, right? Um, basically higher time frame PD arrays, right? And um, if I can see a power of three forming, right? Because you're, you're, you're anticipating all of this to happen, right? You're anticipating price running up to that daily PD array, right? As I said on the pre-week analysis, we wanted to see price open up bullish for futures running Friday's buy side liquidity and reaching for uh, the daily PD arrays. And then depending on how we reacted to the daily PD arrays, right, uh, we will want to see us reach up for the weekly buy side liquidity, right? But all of this has to be um, in order. You can't get ahead of yourself. You got to have all of your levels written down are uh, are in your head. Um, definitely marked on your chart if you if you're a new trader, right? Um, and these are things that you want to be anticipate. These models that uh we trade, and I'm I'm assuming most of the people on the call are smart money concept and ICT traders and are either DR traders. And so we're, um, we all speak the same language. So if I can see a power of three or a, uh, 2022 model setting up within my defined time range, which for me is 10 to 11 or three uh, or two to three, a, um, two to three PM, then, um, those are just added confirmation. That, that strengthens my probability for my trade, right? So I love to see the accumulation happening here, right? After my, um, my time range starts at 10, I love to see the manipulation back up to the PD array and back up to that, that high that we just set at the open, right? And I love to see that displacement to the downside because I already have my, um, targets in mind sell side liquidities and um buy side and balance sell side inefficiency here. 
right? And I'm done for the day. And so that's the mindset of pips when I'm approaching the market. And um, that's how I'm looking at the market um, from week to week and day to day. So um, I don't think Carmen is going to be joining us tonight to give us the fundamental analysis. Like I said, she's in um, Senegal right now. And um, it's about 1230 midnight. there. So for um, everybody who's in the Telegram group, she'll be dropping the beginning of the week fundamental analysis in there. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to chop this video up, edit this video and then drop it on YouTube and um, for anybody who has any questions for me. I will um, take them in Discord and on the YouTube channel. So, um, and I will drop the regular um, beginning of the week analysis in the Telegram group, and I will drop it in the Discord group. But I wanted to base I wanted to basically take you guys in on a deep dive to see exactly how I'm approaching the market from a weekly, daily, and on down to a five, three minute, one minute um, chart because I actually took these trades off of the one minute time frame. Um, I just added on the three minutes so um, you guys could see it all without it being so distorted. But um, that's actually what I was trading this morning and looking at it with my executions. Right here. Now I did take a small loss this morning because once we broke back above it um this second time right here, um I was anticipating a run up to that 79% level, right? But once I seen it break down right here and show us that displacement, I got out right here. And um uh, took that short here to run that sell side liquidity there. So that was my executions this morning, guys. And I hope this was informative. I hope you guys gained something from this. And um, for any questions, just like I said, drop them in the Discord, drop them in the Telegram, and drop them on the YouTube. And I got you guys. So, um, as always, I appreciate you guys coming out tonight, tuning in, getting this knowledge and empowering yourselves. Let your family and friends know you love them while they still here, please. And as always, peace and love, everybody. You know.